it's a case based approach to pleural effusion so a 59 year old non smoker female uh, came to me with cough shortness of breath and low grade fever weight loss of 6 months duration so for such patients what should be the first investigation which comes in the mind so the first investigation which comes in the mind is x ray chest why do you want to do any guidelines you take out the first investigation if the cough is persistent more than 2 weeks is the chest x ray and sputum examination in india so this was the x ray of the steaming so what are we seeing in this x ray if we closely see we can see this left side is fine the right side we can see a effusion which is just sparing the apical area so this is a moderate effusion if we say what to do next now this effusion is quite large so we need to tap the uh in further slides i will tell you about the indications when when are we going to tap the effusion when you did not have to tap the effusion what else you have to do so we tap the effusion the sonography told that there was 2 liters of fluid in the right pleura the pleural fluid analysis we did it shows that it was protein was 4.2 grams sugar was 100 cell count was 1200 while we see cytology and culture it was negative and ada was 16 ada is the parameter which we do it for tuberculosis so it is a uh, test which is adenosine deaminase test which is uh, it is secreted by the lymphocytic cells and it is predominantly seen in the tuberculosis so after seeing this we are coming to a conclusion that the uh, patient's effusion is indeterminate it is exudative according to the lights criteria but again we have a ada which is negative and cytology which is negative so now what to do now everybody there is a question mark in india most commonly the people start akt the doctors start akt for these patients we don't have any evidence but akt are being started so we should not do this without evidence we should not start akt to the patient and we should explain because we have further testing for these kinds of patient who have indeterminate effusion so we did a thoracoscopy for this patient thoracoscopy is the uh, in, inside the pleura you see with the scope thoracoscope so this was the picture inside you can see a reddish colored fluid you can see a shiny pleura with multiple nodules these are the nodules which are there Uh, in whole of pleura so many times even ct guided biopsy are not possible in these kinds of because this is not diffuse this is you can see there are discrete pleuras uh, pleural nodules so what we are doing we are taking biopsy of these nodules so this is how we take the uh, thoracoscopic biopsy we did multiple biopsies of these of this patient and what we found that it was adenocarcinoma so uh, dear friends colleagues and uh, seniors who are listening to this talk mind it we should not start akt until unless we have certain circumstantial evidences if ada is very high yes you can start akt but you have to keep patient under quite observation regarding use of steroids one should not use until unless you have a, a pericardial effusion or the effusion is very large